Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan, and as always, I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and just trying to make it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back, and if this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. Hope everyone's having a great day, and if you like today's video, don't forget the thumbs up, everyone. It's right down here. Just takes a quick second to hit that thumbs up. So, today I have another bargain bin haul for everyone to see. Um... I didn't do a haul for a couple weeks because um, they were closed for a week for vacation and I didn't make it the week before that and they just reopened recently um, coming back from vacation so um, I had a little break there which is okay for my pocket and when I went in the other day I tried to hit the dollar days it's the biggest bargain a little bit picked over but the best deals dollar wise um, but it was like really kind of picked over and the bins were kind of empty. So when I got to the register, um, I always joke around with a guy that um, usually checks us out. And I said, where is everything? I've never seen the bin so empty. He says, well, everybody like bought everything on Monday and Tuesday. And I was like, wow, I've never seen it this empty. I said, was it because you guys were closed for a week? He goes, I don't know. I don't think so. So it was okay. I did still find a few good things. Um, not as much as usual, which was um, easier on my pocket, so I can't complain. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what I did pick up. So like I said, um, I went on the dollar day. And so everything that I'm going to show you, I paid a dollar piece for. I picked up this um, stem with those white, small white roses, which, you know, you guys that saw my Michaels haul probably are like, why you got all those florals but in my defense there wasn't anything quite like this got a lot of pink and red roses but not any like the light white blush color so I thought I'd go ahead and grab these because I can incorporate them in the projects where I use the other rose picks that I got in the Michaels grab bags so I um, picked these up for a dollar I see there's a couple <laughs> flowers that must have came off but for a dollar I'm not gonna complain they're really nice Let's see, I also picked up a couple pair of, there's, they said they're self-adhesive lashes. Now, I've been playing around with the adhesive lash, lashes, the magnetic lashes. I'm still, it's a learning curve there, at least for me. And I thought, well, geez, these are self-adhesive. Maybe I'll have some luck for the with these. And they're only a dollar a pair. And I saw the two, so I grabbed those. I think they had some other lashes there, but they looked like really not my taste at all. I picked up this, um, it says Round Day, Round Day Green Tea Sika Sun Lotion, SPF 50. I'm trying to get a little bit better about using SPF, especially in the summer. I know we're supposed to use it all year, but especially in the summer. Um, year round, I usually go with a lower SPF, but in the summer for my face, I try to go a little bit um, of a higher SPF. And sometimes it's harder to find the higher ones. So I grabbed this for um, 50 um, SPF, and I was trying to see how many ounces it is. It looks like it says 3.38 fluid ounces, so it's a decent size. Um, it's a decent size bottle, and for a dollar, it works. So let me just throw this in here. That aside, I want to take a lot of time, but I don't want to have a huge mess to pick up either. It's going to be a mess anyway. It wants to fall everywhere. So I found this um, eye cream. It's, it's like Lily Anna Naturals. Oh my, I'm just put my glasses on to see it because the print is really small. Rose Hip and Hibiscus Anti-Aging Moisturizer Eye Cream. And it says to use twice a day your under eye area. So I took my glasses off too soon. I was trying to see how big it was. 1.7 ounces. Uh, so, a um, dollar for this. Um, it wasn't in a box, and then a little bit later I found the empty box, but I was like, I already had it in my bag. I don't, I'm just going to throw the box away anyway. Um, I also got these Alme eye makeup remover pads. I know Alme is a little bit pricier because it's hypoallergenic, um, but as we all know, the eye makeup is the most stubborn makeup to remove. Um, 80 pads and yeah, makeup free zone and it's oil free it says gentle and oil free so I picked those up let's see what else I have in here I also grabbed these they had a lot of these quite a few of these 
and I think people were leaving these behind because they didn't know what they were and I probably wouldn't have either except I was scrolling Instagram one day and I saw somebody um showing these and the brand is Choo Choo and it says solid cream gel nine colors and I'm thinking people probably left them because they thought maybe they were an eyeshadow palette although I've not heard of gel eyeshadow but what clicked with me is I had to I didn't have my glasses right away but then I saw it says um, nine color gel polish and then when I looked on the side and it says UV lamp I'm like oh I know what that is it's the um let's see if I can open one and show you for those of you that aren't familiar with it maybe and it says it has the palette and the brush and um, what it is it's a gel nail polish that you use a brush are really hard to get up but I tried to open one the other day um, use a brush and um, paint it on your nails and it's a gel it's got a mirror so and I forget what the um, it doesn't say on here but I looked it up on Amazon because I was curious to get more information about it and they had these and I picked these up for a dollar piece and I think they were $7.99 if I remember correctly and both of them are the same color I think on Amazon they had three different color varieties um, the colors in the palette aren't as true as they are they showed them actually on the nails um, like this is a black and then this isn't actually a navy and the colors are much prettier once you put them on the nails and then just like a regular gel polish you um, cure it with a UV, UV lamp and then you have to soak the polish off but I'm just starting to get into gel polish a little bit because I'm like, do I want to bother with the UV lamp? But I did pick up a small one, um, which, as I don't have my nails done, but um, I was taken by a tin, and because my nails were, I was having a really hard time getting my nails to grow. So I was taken by a tin every day, and they were growing and they were holding up pretty good. But then I ran out of by a tin, and they started breaking again and peeling and chipping. And I just bought up another bottle of um, hair, skin, and nail. So hopefully I can start growing my nails again. And then I might be more inclined to do something with them. But that's all a side note and side track. So yeah, this is what the brush looks like. And I like that it comes, you know, where you can um, cover it so it doesn't get damaged. And, um, oh, the, the other one I opened didn't have the um, little sleeve. But it's just got a small little brush that you um, paint the color on your nails and then you cure it and you're good to go. Um, another reason that I wanted to, well, I'll fix this later because it doesn't want to go back in there. Another reason I wanted to start using gels is because your manicures last longer. And that's one reason I don't paint my nails that long, that much because it seems like I, when I actually do a good job and I'm happy with it, turn around, it's chipping. So I'm like, oh, it gets frustrating. Anyway. That was went way off on a tangent with nail polish. I also, also got this Tahiti Island scented candle. Just one of those little candles in a tin. And it smells really good. I can smell some pineapple and citrus and stuff. So I picked that up. These are nice if you want to maybe just not commit to a bigger candle when you burn one. I thought this was a good deal. I almost um, overlooked this. Olay Active Hydrating. Um, Hydro hydration active it's the original cream now it wasn't in a box but that's okay um, Olay for a dollar that's another thing sometimes when I go on the dollar is I'm like why are people leaving this stuff behind do they know how much Olay sells for and stuff like that I just do they know how much Alme sells for I don't know I guess it's just what they happen to be interested in um, I also found here's another good deal Burt's Bees we all know Burt's Bees isn't very cheap either but I love Burt's Bees it works so good um, it's a lavender honey hand cream um, when I first started using Burt's Bees, Bees the price point wasn't too bad but it's gotten up there I also found Burt's Bees BB cream and I think I found another Burt's Bee if I can find it without digging. Yes. Um, Burt's Bee's foot cream. This is the holy grail. This stuff is so good. Um, this is, I think, one of the second or third Burt's Bee's items, I, you know, products I ever tried. It smells like coconut. I love coconut. 
And this stuff really works. Take a shower, you throw this on your feet, put some socks on, the next day you wake up and take the socks off, your feet are so soft and they smell so good if you like coconut. This stuff is awesome. So I was happy, it's only a little too, but I was happy to find that. Um, I found a little tiny, <laughs> a little tiny bottle of folk art um, chalk paint, two ounces, and it's in the color, I thought I saw it on here when I first looked. Um, it says on here, but it's real small. It's um, Castle, I know it was a familiar color. I had seen this color before. It's only two ounces, but for a dollar, that's not bad. Chalk paint can get pricey sometimes. I also found um, an e.l.f. brow pencil. Like I said, some of the stuff, I don't know why they left it. It was good stuff. You would think by dollar day, it was all just the crap left, but they left me some good stuff. Um, pure 4-in-1. Um, this is a tinted moisturizer. I've mentioned before on the channel that I... Um, I like tinted moisturizers more than the regular foundations and we all know Pure is a really good brand so I've paid a dollar for this and it's in the shade light. I found, let's see, my bag next to me. Um, another tinted face mineral sunscreen stick and this is SPF 50 and it's just in a nice little um, like a deodorant type stick so and it's as you can see it's tinted. And this is in the color, let me see if it says, and the brand is Babo Botanicals, and the color is Natural Glow. Let's see from that. Uh, let's see, I use a ton of lip balm, so I found these, the, it just says Chap Lip Lip Balm, Lip Butter, we grab Mango, Watermelon, and Tangerine. And I go through a lot of it. And when, if anybody in the family is like, oh, my lips are a little chapped, I'm like, I got you. <laughs> and on that note, I also found um, a couple of these lip glosses. We have, I think I saw these on Amazon. You can buy them in bulk on Amazon. But I got, um, it's Broadway is the brand. I got mango butter and mint oil of those. I also found an e.l.f. Um, camo concealer no box but I don't care you know do we keep the boxes not usually so like that. and then let's see I think I only have a couple other things this one item and then something I bought multiples of so this is um this is a color gel this is another gel nail polish and the thing is with gel nail polishes gel nail polishes aren't that inexpensive either regular nail polishes a dollar you can get um, pretty okay um, gel not so much and of course as we all know the bottles don't really show you the color it's just the regular metallic um, bottle but let me see if it'll show up on camera it's actually I think the color let me see if I can get it to show up is like this holographic silver color it's probably not going to show up very good for you guys. But I thought that was kind of cool. So I picked that up. The last thing I got, I got five of. Again, I don't know why they left them, but I was glad they did. It's the Up and Up, which is a Target brand. Reusable cotton bamboo rounds. There's 16 cotton rounds, and it comes in a mesh bag. So I got five of these. And, um... These are really nice. Obviously, I don't need five packs of 16, so I will be sharing. I might keep one or two um, for myself, and then the other ones will either go on giveaway, friend mail, um, my sister's nieces, whatever. But for a dollar, yeah. I only saw five, or I probably would have grabbed a few more because these are really nice to share. They'll definitely get used. It makes a lot more sense than buying a bunch of the disposable ones. You can use these for your toner, your makeup remover, your cleansers, whatever. So I saw five, I grabbed five. Um, usually I'm not, I try not to be greedy and get all of what I see so I can leave some for other people. But I'm guessing nobody was really that interested or they wouldn't have been there still on dollar day with a bunch of empty bins. So that's my haul smaller than usual but i think i still found some good stuff burt's bees olay alme um you know pure um a couple elf products 
so overall I think it was a pretty good haul I spent around 30 just a little over $30 I thought it was pretty good um, I love the days that they have a lot of health and beauty um, you know you can only use so much health and beauty but I do have sisters and nieces um, that I can share with and we all know that health and beauty stuff is not inexpensive so if I can pick the stuff up for a dollar or two dollars I'm more than happy to do so one of my other hauls on a two dollar day I picked up a uh, Neutrogena Hydrogel for $2. I went to Walmart a day or two later. I noticed the price for it was $19.57. So, and then one time I got the Kaja um, lip glosses and I picked them up on a dollar day. I looked them up online because I wasn't familiar with the brand. They sell for $18 or $19 a piece. So, yeah, I hit the health and beauty stuff. And people leave quite a bit of it behind by $1 and $2 days. I'm like, you guys don't use this stuff or you don't realize the value I don't know I'm gonna to try to hit there on a weekend day it just went up from seven and five dollars on the weekend to eight and six but it's still okay because on the weekends they have bigger ticket items like sheet sets blankets small appliances you know bigger ticket items so I may try to hit that on a weekend and see what I can get I've been afraid to go on the weekends because I'm like it's probably mobbed because you have the good stuff and I was talking to the gentleman that works there and he says not really he says the first 15 20 minutes they they clear out and then you can get in here and look around so I might try to hit it up on Saturday or Sunday and see if I can find a few good things we'll see not that I really need a lot but Christmas is coming so if I can pick up a few of the bigger ticket items and then put them up for Christmas networks both of my sons are out on their own so they can definitely use household type things so we'll see I might try to hit there and see if I can find something worth grabbing so hope you liked my little bargain bin haul you guys say that you're not tired of me yet so whenever I go to the bin store I will definitely share what I pick up with everyone and let me know what you think down below if you think I got any good deals or if there's anything that um you know stood out and if you haven't given me a thumbs up yet, that would be greatly appreciated. Go ahead and let me know what you think. If you're getting tired of these hauls, just let me know. But I have not had that in my feedback. So until the next bargain bin haul, bye everyone.